I was trying to do a bit of research this morning, and I just, I just couldn't find anything. And I was asking myself, no, at this, at this level, I don't need a research again to be able to teach business plan. And my mind flashed back many years ago, 2007, in the business school, how I was taught to craft something. And then I did a three-year business plan for Oyster Card. If you know Oyster Card, if you have traveled in London, is that card you used to hop on a train or, or move on a bus and then did a three-year business plan based on the model I was taught, the, the professor taught us in the business school. And I said, oh, wow, I can take that up. I don't have to go through my notes again because we internalized it. So this morning, I'll teach you a framework that will help you to put together a reasonable business plan. And it's called the SOSTAC framework, S-O-S-T-A-C. S-O-S-T-A-C, the SOSTAC framework or the SOSTAC model. So the S there, the first S stands for situation analysis. Situation analysis. The O stands for objective setting. Objective setting. The second S stands for strategic development. Strategy development. The T stands for tactical development. Tactics. Tactical development. The A stands for action. And the C stands for control. S-O-S-T-A-C. The SOSTAC model to putting together a marketing plan or a business plan. Of course, I can't, I can't finish the SOSTAC model today. But let's start with the first S and see how far we are able to go. The first S is what? Situation analysis. Now, if you put together a business idea to a potential investor or to somebody who is willing to put down money for that business, the first thing you want to do is to analyze the current situation about your business in relation to the wider environment. Where does my business stand in the context of the wider business community in Nigeria? A proper analysis of your competitive positioning. I'm using some words now. I expect people to, to put down and then they would check up later. Last week I challenged you. I brought out some keywords, some new words from what Fumi, from Fumi's responses to the question that we asked her, and I tried to explain them right. I'm using some words now, and I want people to take down and then check up later. Competitive positioning. So, situation analysis is to help you with competitive positioning. How does this business idea, or this small business I'm doing, how does it stand in the context of the wider business environment. In doing the analysis of the situation your business has found itself, you will look at the internal environment and then you also look at what? The external environment. Is my pace too fast? Okay, good. Because uh, some people are just looking at me like I'm coming from the <laughs> from under planet. So, Situation analysis, right? You're looking at both the internal environment of, of the business and the external environment. We have several tools and frameworks. So in business, really, every analysis we do follow a particular framework. So, so many business authors and business leaders, people who are authorities in different aspects of business, they develop frameworks that we use to do a whole lot of analysis. So let's take it one after the other. Internal analysis now, you use a simple tool, a simple tool we call the SWOT analysis. How many of you have heard that? The simple tool we call the SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. The SWOT analysis, S-W-O-T. So the S there stands for what? The strength of your business in comparison to the wider business environment, especially in that business that you are doing, you are comparing yourself to perhaps a benchmark, the industry leader, or those who are particularly doing well in that business line, your strength vis-a-vis -vis the market leader, the S, strength, the W, weakness. 
then in every business environment, there will always be forces and factors that shapes that business, ongoing trends that shapes the business, right? When, that, when those emerging trends are playing into your hands, we call that one, what? Opportunities. What are the emerging opportunities that I can leverage to do better? But when those headwinds, when those trends are headwinds, when, when they are working against you, we call that what? Threat. So that's where we got the S-W-O-T from, SWOT. So in analyzing, I'm doing a small business. Somebody should give me, you are doing a business. I want somebody to tell, because I want to be as real as practicable as can be. Who is doing a small business here? Yes. What's it? You sell luxury items. So, so generally in the business world, we call it retail, mm? retail segment. So in the retail industry, me, your business now, against the context of the wider retail business, what are my strengths? Generally, your strengths are those things that gives you an edge that you do better, perhaps, than the market leader. For you, it could be the personalization of your service, the personal touch that makes people to come back. It could be your good, impeccable customer service. It could, it could be the fact that you allow people to return your return policy to say, if you're not satisfied within this number of days, you can return it at no cost whatever. It could be the installation of a particular product. When you buy, we do after sales installation and maintenance for you on a periodic basis, whatever it is that makes you to make the biz to push the business forward, to make progress is your strength. And you have to be very clear about it. You should be able to call out one, two, three particular strengths that your business have that the general competitors of your business may not have. Those are your strengths. And the reason why you should know them is that what? If you know your strengths, in, by investing more in those strengths, you get better, right? If you don't know what's working for you, you don't know how to get better. You should, you should be clear as to what is working well for you. Then you do what? You put resources behind it. You put resources behind it so that your business can get better strength. Now, weaknesses, on the other hand, are those things that you are poor at, that some other people you are competing with, they do it better than you are doing. And you have to also be very clear as, as per those things. Why should you be clear? If you're not clear as per those things, you're not doing well, you may not be able to improve. It means competition will be beating you to your games, and it's only a matter of time you'll be out of business. So you must be honest as to what your weaknesses are, and then you must see how to do what? Convert those weaknesses to strength. So I mentioned that opportunities are threats are offshoots of what? Emerging trends. So you must have a system in your business that makes you to to, um, to scan, yes, that's the word, to scan the business environment and to take note of what emerging trends that may impact either positively or negatively on your business. When those trends would play into your hands positively, you talk of what opportunities. So it means you must be quick enough, quick enough to latch on to emerging trends that will work for you. If you are too slow, Competition will latch onto them and then they will use it as what? Competitive advantage against you. That's where we have this thing we call first mover advantage. Well, I've had that word before. In business, we have something we call first mover advantage. Something's about to happen. You latch onto it first before others. Before they begin to do it, you have cashed out, you have moved on. First mover advantage. So when those emerging trends are for your favor, we call them opportunities. But if they will work against you, they are threats to the survival of your business. And so you must do things to hedge the impact. It could be a regulation that government is, is about to bring up that may affect you. You may have, let's say, for your luxury good now, there could just there, there, there could be something you are selling and then the government says, no, this thing should not be imported again. We should use what? Local 
substitute. It will affect you. If you have gotten wind of that trend before it becomes widespread, what will you do? You will source for what? Local suppliers who can supply you. So that's an, an opportunity. If you can quickly tie down contractual agreements with local suppliers who can supply you. So ability to scan on, a, on an ongoing basis, the business environment, to watch out for trends and forces that may threaten your business is something every businessman should do. So in crafting your simple business plan, you want to what? present a SWOT analysis. 